exostosis of the external auditory canal, otherwise called surface ear. It is bilateral, smooth, sessile, hemispherical swellings, usually multiple, and occurring in the medial portion of the external auditory canal, just lateral to the tympanic membrane and medial to the sutures of the tympanic bone. Men are affected more than females. The growing evidence suggests that periostitis due to prolonged exposure to cold water, as seen most frequently in aquatic sportsmen, is the most important etiopathogenic factor. Cold air is also a causative factor, and genetic factors is also explained as the, it has not been reported in black people. And pathology, it is broad based and dense and composed of laminated bone covered with periosteum and squamous epithelium. Exostosis having a laminated appearance representing layers of newly formed uh, bone and they lack fibrovascular channels. And the diagnosis is uh, very easy. easy. Uh, the clinical features in otoscopy, the typical appearance of multiple um, bony outgrowth, just uh, lateral to the tympanic membrane and medial to the uh, sutures of the tympanic bone is seen. And HRCT temporal bone is also uh, needed, in, especially in the presence of complications such as cholesteatoma. And uh, audiological testing is mandatory as conductive hearing loss is the second most frequent indicator for surgery after repeated uh, otitis externa. And in the management options, if the is asymptomatic, no treatment is required. And general advice of avoidance of cold water with use of earplug or a wetsuit hood for water sports is important. And if it is highly symptomatic, uh, that is more than 80% of stenosis or obliterative uh, conditions, the surgical removal is needed. And especially if refractory to medical treatment and if causing recurrent or persisting otitis externa or frequent obstruction by cerumen and if wider access is required for middle ear surgeries or fitting of hearing aid, then go for surgical excision.